dear students welcome to the problem solving session part 2 on homogeneous linear pde in the previous session we are solving the problems on homogeneous linear pde whose right hand side is either cos ax plus by or sin ax plus by in the previous session we solved the problem number 1 that is d square minus dd dash minus 20 d dash square into z. In today's session we are going to solve problem number 6 and I am going to consider only this sign alone because this problem number 6 has degree 3. How to tackle when you get problems with degree 3? Let us go. Before we go into the problem we have to remember for type 2 d square is equivalent to minus a square d dash is equal to minus a into b and d dash square is minus b square. Now to, let us go into the problem. To find complementary function put right hand side 0 and take it as equation 1. Now put d equal to m and d dash equal to 1 in equation 1. So we get m cube minus 7m minus 6 is equal to 0. Now as I said earlier videos use your calculator and find the roots. The roots are minus 1, minus 2 and 3. So we can write one step earlier like m plus 1 into m plus 2 into m minus 3 equal to 0. You can say like solving we get this. We know all the three roots are distinct. Therefore my complementary function is going to be f1 of y minus x plus f2 of y minus 2x and f3 of y plus 3x. Now my complementary functions get over. I want to find particular integral pi. Now to solve this we have to take the value a as 1 that is coefficient of x and b as 2 that is coefficient of y. So a equal to 1 and b equal to 2. Now since my right hand side has sign we have to use this d square d d dash d dash square. So let us write this in a tabulated way very legibly. d square is minus a square. Don't do like minus a whole square it is wrong d square is minus a square and d d dash is minus a b d dash square is minus b square so d square is equal to minus 1 d d dash is equal to minus 2 and d dash square is equal to minus 4 now evaluate denominator first our denominator is d cube minus 7 d d dash square minus 6 d dash cube now i am substituting d square is minus 1 since it is d cube i will have this d next minus 7 i am keeping d and i am substituting the value for d dash square that is minus 4 and minus 6 into i'll keep on d dash remaining d dash square is minus 4 so minus d minus into minus plus 28d again minus into minus plus 24d dash therefore my denominator is 27d plus 24d dash you can see the typed version therefore i can rewrite my pi as 1 by 27d plus 24d dash sin x plus 2y next to solve the problem in a very easy way you don't need to go for conjugate simply i am going to multiply and divide by d on this so it will not affect the problem so we have d by d into 27d plus 24d dash sin x plus 2y. Next we have to multiply this d inside. So we get d divided by 27d square plus 24d d dash square plus 24d d dash. Now again we have to calculate the denominator. Therefore my denominator is simply this 27 d square plus 24 dd dash. Now I can substitute the value 27 my d square is minus 1 plus 24 into dd dash is minus 2. Simplifying this we get minus 27 and minus 48. Therefore the grand total is minus 75. So denominator is minus 75. We can see the that is equal to minus 1 by 75 d into sin x plus 2y. This d because when we multiply d by d 
the numerator d. Now differentiation of sin x plus 2y with respect to x. d means dou by dou x. d dash means dou by dou y. So now differentiating sin x plus 2y partially with respect to x. Now differentiating sin x plus 2y partially with respect to x. We get cos x plus 2y. And differentiation of cos x plus 2y and differentiation of x plus 2y partially with respect to x is 1. Therefore, my particular integral is minus 1 by 75 cos x plus 2y. You can see the typed version. So, we found the particular integral and we also found the complementary function. Now, we can write the general solution z is equal to cf plus pi. Just we have to write the answer. Hope you understand students. Now, see, some student may get doubt. Sir, here we have d d dash square. Why I want to substitute d dash value? Instead of this, I can substitute d d dash value and I can keep one d dash outside. Let us see what will happen. So, now I am going in that way. So, d, d square is minus 1 I am applying and then minus 7. 1 d d dash I am going to apply minus 2 and I am going to keep another d dash. Here minus 6 into d dash square is minus 4 into d dash. Now simplifying this, we get minus d minus into minus plus 14 d dash minus into minus plus 24 d dash. Therefore, my denominator is minus d plus 38 d dash. So, we don't want to worry. Whatever the method we do, we are going to get the same. So, now I am writing my pi is equal to 1 divided by minus d plus 38 d dash sin x plus 2y. As I said, we have to apply the technique. I am going to multiply and divide by d. It is not necessary. Even you can multiply by d dash and divide by d dash. You are going to get the same answer. Now, my denominator will become minus d square plus 38 d d dash. We have to calculate denominator separately. My denominator is equal to minus d square plus 38 d d dash. And we know that d square is minus 1 and then 38 into d d dash is minus 2. Simplifying this, we get minus into minus plus that is 1 then minus 38 into 2 that is 76. Therefore, my denominator is minus 75. So, whatever you substitute, you are going to get the same answer. Now, I can write my pi as 1 divided by minus 75 d of sin x plus 2y. Just now I said d of sin x plus 2y means differentiate partially with respect to x. So, we get minus 1 by 75 differentiation of sin is cos x plus 2y and differentiation of this x plus 2y partially with respect to x is 1. Therefore, my particular integral is minus 1 by 75 cos x plus 2y. Finally, we can write the general solution. We already found the cf. Just just now we found the particular integral. Therefore, the general solution is z equal to cf plus pi. Therefore, the general solution is f1 of y minus x plus f2 of y minus 2x plus f3 of y plus 3x minus 1 by 75 cos x plus 2y. Hope you understand students. Now, suppose your given problem is like this. So, you have two functions in the right hand side. So, when you want to do pi, you have to consider this as pi1 plus pi2. We have to take this pi1 as sin x plus 2y. Just now we solved. And then we have to take pi2 as e power 3x plus y. We know this is type 1. We have to find the particular integral. And my final solution is going to be z is equal to cf plus pi1 plus pi2. Hope you understand. Next, one more problem for your practice in the same kind. Suppose if they ask d cube minus 7 d d dash square minus 6 d dash cube into z is equal to now cos 2x plus y. The previous problem which we solve is sin x plus 2y. So, you can proceed in the same way. And I will give one more problem for your practice. d cube plus d square d dash minus 4d d dash square minus 4 d dash cube into z is equal to cos 2x plus y. You can easily crack this. When you go for the pi, we have like a equal to 2 
and b equal to 1 when i found the denominator we can see d square is minus 4 d d dash is minus 2 d dash square is minus 1 so when i substitute all this thing here we get minus 4 d minus 4 d dash plus 4 d minus 4 d dash so my denominator will become 0 now you know what to do when your denominator is 0 you have to differentiate the denominator alone partially with respect to d our denominator is d cube plus d square d dash minus 4 d d dash square minus 4 d dash cube so when i differentiate partially with respect to d we will get 3 d square plus 2 d d dash minus 4 d dash square we have cos 2x plus y then we can proceed again taking this as a denominator and we have to find the value so now when i take the denominator and substitute the value we get 3 into minus 4 plus 2 into d d dashes minus 2 minus 4 into d dash square is minus 1 very good so we don't want to do further we can simplify here itself minus 12 minus 4 plus 4 so my denominator is minus 12 pi is minus we have x already so minus x by 12 cos 2x plus y so i am just giving the final answer z is equal to your cf is f1 of y minus x plus f2 of y minus 2x plus f3 of y y plus 2x just now we found the pi minus x by 12 cos 2x plus y and i will give one more problem just these are all for your practices d cube plus d square d dash minus d d dash square minus d dash cube is it is equal to suppose you get sin 2x cos 2y then don't think that it is a different type we can easily remember this formula from our school days sin a cos b is equal to 1 by 2 times sin a plus b plus sin a minus b so now we have sin 2x cos y so i can just write this as sin 2x plus y plus sin 2x minus y so the remaining thing i left to you so when you solve pi you will have pi 1 plus pi 2 so the rhs for pi 1 you have to take it as 1 by 2 sin 2x plus y similarly rhs for pi 2 is 1 by 2 sin 2x minus y now you can solve the problem i just left for your choice and i'm giving the final solution my z is equal to f1 of y minus x plus x into f2 of y minus x plus f3 of y plus x and pi1 is 1 by 18 cos 2x plus y and pi2 is 1 by 6 cos 2x minus y hope you understand students subscribe to our channel share to your friends thank you